think for choosing Arby's. Somebody will be with you shortly. Yeah, I had a question. Do you guys have the new Reese's uh, peanut butter cup cookie? Yes, we do. Yeah, I'd like to have an order of that and that'll be it. Excellent. Thank you very much. You too. All right, I have our sweet treats that are ready to dive in. And there's peanut butter involved, so you know it's gonna be good. So I can't wait to dig in. Let's get to it. Hey, welcome to the Zach and Dads. We really do appreciate it. We are the place for food reviews, food challenges, and today, good old combo of cookies and peanut butter, which I love. I can't get into it. I can't wait to get into it. Kind of fun. So if you enjoy what you see here, which we please hope you do, if you could help us out with a few things like usual, we really would appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and click on that bell for notifications make sure when it when make sure you also hit the pull down menu and hit all so you never miss a scrumptious yummy peanut butter cookie or other review we really do appreciate that uh again thanks for being with us today we really do appreciate it uh as you can see uh, uh, I am sunless or zackless either way zackless or sunless uh here in wisconsin uh i'm doing this uh during my lunch hour it's a school day, and uh, so Zach is at school, and then I think he works tonight. So, you know what? Again, you take Zach when I take Zach. You get Zach when I get Zach. Basically, when you see him, I see him. We all see. You scream, I scream, we all scream for Zach. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully you really enjoyed, uh, at least you got to see him at the challenge. At least you got to see him at the challenge, and that was great. Good to do a challenge. We haven't done that in a while. Finally, to get to one of our hot sauces that we had on our vacation, during the summer um and then we have another one yet so stay tuned to that we're looking forward to that so again thanks for being with us i hope your fall is going well uh again last week i think it was yeah at the beginning of last week we were in the 70s almost near 80 really weird for november well we knew that wouldn't last uh it is now cold um so i'm almost too cold now it almost feels like winter uh we're supposed to get some snow so it's like you know that's wisconsin it, it, you know, if, if you don't like the, as they say, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes, it's going to change. So, and if you're from the upper Midwest, you know what I mean. So, anyway, what are we doing today? Um, we're doing something um, more on the dessert side. You saw it on the thumbnail and all that good stuff. Arby's, and I'll probably put up a picture as I'm talking about this so you see what I'm talking about because it's a little hard for me to talk and then hold it up at the same time. But Arby's introduces the new Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Cookie. You had me at Reese's, and then you had me at Peanut, and then you had me at Butter, then you had me at Cup, then you had me at Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, and then you had me at Cookie. There is nothing in this that tur that would that would turn me off. The Reese's, the Peanut Butter, the Cup, and the Cookie, all good stuff. You had me just really right there. Um, anyway, the new Reese's Peanut Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Cookie as the latest addition to the brand's dessert menu. Mmm, sweet. And they do have some good stuff at Arby's. I really do like that. Um, served warm. Uh, so that's kind of neat. Uh, that's interesting. Served So I hope that means soft as well. Served warm, because usually that is, I don't know too many warm, crispy cookies. It's usually warm, soft cookies. Uh, served warm, the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Cookie, or as many other people are saying, RPBCC. I just said that. Features a soft peanut, okay, soft, there we go. Soft peanut butter cookie, studded, ooh, just like dad, the big stud. Uh, stud Studded with chunks of chopped Reese's peanut butter cups. Ooh, looking forward to that. The new addition joins the brand's existing salted caramel and chocolate cookie. That sounds really good as well. I actually, I'm, I wonder if I did do that. That does sound good. I'm not sure if I did it. If I did do that one, I'll have a card up for that. Don't remember what I do and where I do it. And so anyway, if I did that, I'll have a card up for it. Uh, which is a rich chocolate chip cookie packed with caramel, salted, sweet sprinkles, uh, and dark, semi-sweet chocolate chunks. Sounds really good, too. Um, you can find the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup cookie at participating locations, which basically it's all over the place, uh, for a limited time. Everything. Everything good. 
is for a limited time. Veggies are here to stay, but candy is for a limited time. Isn't that always the case? You will always have veggies among you, but sugar will only be temporary. I know that farewell. All right, let's get into this and let's look at this beauty. Uh, the price for this, how many did I get? Is it just one? No, it is two. Or is it one? No, I can't tell. Maybe it is just one big one. Um, okay, it is just one. I thought maybe there were two in it. But anyway, um, the price for this is, maybe you heard it on the um, on the intro, uh, because this receipt is so hard to read. Two something? I think it's two ten. Yeah, I think a dollar ninety, dollar ninety nine without tax, and then two ten uh, with tax. So it's inflation time. I don't know what deals are or aren't. You'll have to make that own decision. So anyway, here it is in all of its packaged glory. Uh, so it is kind of prepackaged already. So I'm sure what they do is I'm sure they I'm, I'm sure they don't have this old lady down in the basement uh, that is making them for Arby's fresh. Hey, grandma, grandma. She's downstairs in the basement. Hey, grandma. Yes. Uh, can you send a can you make a, a few more of those homemade peanut butter cookies? Oh, yeah. OK, sounds good. No, I'm sure this comes from corporate and it's probably just microwaved, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe corporate did a good job. The lady in the basement does a wonderful job making the cookies at, at other places. But at Arby's, I guess it's going to be in this package. So we'll see. So I don't know who makes it there. Maybe it's a robot who makes it at corporate. It is warm. Oh, and it does have that good old peanut butter. Actually, it smells like a regular peanut butter cookie that we've grown to love. I don't even care if it had Reese's peanut butter cups in that. Just peanut butter is good. But it is warm, which is nice. But it's very... Okay, all right. Uh, I can't even take it out of the package. It is it is warm, but you know when you put something in the microwave, like something like, you know when you put something packaged like this in the microwave, um, if there's moisture in the cookie, where is the moisture going to go? It's going to go in the bag. So here's the thing. You have a pre-made cookie in a bag. You put it in the microwave, and it warms up nice and warm. But then the moisture from the cookie is going to get into that bag and it makes the cookie crumble. So I can't really even show it to you, unfortunately, because it's all, look at that. It's all kind of, I, I can't even pick it up. It's just all kind of breaking apart there. So I'm going to admit that is, now here's the thing. I picked it up Um and maybe it would have been good if I ate it like right now. But uh, again, from there to where I park to do these things, just a little, a little bit of a time. Um, but really, I, so really, if you get this through the drive through, which I did, and you take it home, it's going to be like this. So basically, this is what you're going to get if you go through a drive through. Maybe if you eat it there, order it and sit down right away and eat it, that'll be different. Hmm. Wow. This is really not good. Not good at all. It just, all right, at least I got that part. Let me show you there. If you can see it there, it is nice and thick. Again, it has a good smell to it. Uh, well, I guess, you know, the, the taste is in the test. So let's, or the test is in the taste. Let's give it a shot. Chip it, dip it. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to give you kind of a, a side view there. I don't know if you can tell, and I don't know if it's focusing, but you can definitely see um, <clears throat> the peanut butter. You can see the peanut butter chunks in there, um, which are kind of melted now. Um, the peanut butter, yeah, cups in there, chocolate. It is good. I, I will admit that it is good, um, but I'm going to have to almost put this in a bowl or on a plate um, or some kind of utensil because not only is it really crumb, it's just breaking apart. It's not even crumbly. It's just smushy is what it is. It's like more, it's all full of moisture that was, that was microwaved. And so it's not just, it's not even crumbly. It's smushy. Um, and I mean, I can't even really grab a nice bite to it. Now this is nice and nice and chocolatey and peanut buttery. All right. You had me, like I said, you had me at Reese's peanut butter cup cookie. You had me at all those except one. 
it almost is like you don't want it warm because I'm, and I usually do prefer warm cookies with milk. That'd be awesome. Soft, warm cookies with milk. That's great. Or put on top of an ice cream or whatever. I love that. But now when you microwaved it, you almost ruined it. So it's almost like you should just serve it then, just serve it regular. Just don't warm it up just because it's really good. It, it probably would be good on its own without even being warmed up. Just serve it. And then if I want it warmed, I will take it home and warm it up. Um, or if not, I'll just open it up and I will eat it um, room temperature. And it's probably much more able to hold and all that. Um, you definitely do not. You can't hit. You can't do you cannot drive with that cookie. That is a cookie that you cannot drive and eat at the same time. You got to stop. You almost got to take it out of the package, put it on a plate or a bowl or something. Um, mm, mm. Oh, this one's going to be hard because on one side, it's really good. It is good tasting. It's a good dessert. I really like it. But on the other side, the presentation is, is pretty bad. I mean, the cookie looked okay, but it's pretty bad um, prepared how it's said, warm and all that. So mm. let me give you some questions first, then we're going to give it a flavor rating. I, I'm disappointed. Very disappointed, actually. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you're a peanut butter fan, and I am a huge peanut butter fan. If you're a Reese's peanut butter cup fan, all that stuff, peanut butter cookie fan, Reese's peanut butter cup fan, give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear that. Have you tried this? Would you try this? Are you as disappointed if you've tried it than I am? Maybe I'm, maybe our I, Arby's was way off base. Maybe you've had it and maybe it was nice and warm and you were able to hold it and all that good stuff. Um, maybe it's just ours. I don't know. Maybe they microwaved it. And then it fell on the floor and then someone, you know, someone who was mopping, uh, mopped over it. Someone slipped on it and then said, hey, whose cookie is this? Oh, this is that gentleman's uh, in the drive through. Should we get him a new one? And they're like, no, it's already warmed. It's still in the bag. We're still good. Just give it to him. He's going to be OK. Plus, what is he going to do? He's going to what is he going to come back? Um, so maybe that happened. I'm not sure. But um, what is your go to cookie? What is your go-to cookie? Um, it could be bought at a store. It could be crumble cookie, insomnia cookie. What is the best cookie you have ever had? Whether it's store-bought or gourmet or what or made, homemade. What is your favorite cookie of all time? Where did you get it? I would love to know that. And the brand. Maybe again, crumble cookie, insomnia cookie, uh, chips ahoy. Uh, maybe it's your grandma's cookie that she makes. Maybe it's, you know, your mom's. I mean, come on, we have Christmas coming, you know, maybe, maybe it's something, fa maybe it's one of your favorite cookies that your grandma makes for Christmas. I don't know what it is, but I would love to know. That would be great. And then are you on team when it comes to your cookies? Are you on team soft or crispy? Now for me, I like it, Chris, I, I, I like it soft. Now this is way too soft and it just, it, and it's smushy. So not to this extreme, but I do like nice and soft, uh, cookies, um, or, or do you like it soft? Do you like it crispy? Or do you like it? Forget it. Forget even doing anything with it. Just give me the cookie dough. All right. I'll, uh, I like to admit sometimes we make cookies and it doesn't always see the oven because we ate most of it as a cookie dough. And they're all, it's always funny. Don't eat it because you're going to get sick. Don't eat it because you're, gonna... I've never gotten sick. I have never gotten sick from cookie dough. I've only been blessed and I've only smiled at the end of it because it was so good. Um, and then do you like your cookies warm or just room temperature? So, all right, let's give this a flavor rating. I will let you guys know. I, I go again, uh, social media. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what's going on in your life. How's the fall treating you? How's the family doing? How is work doing? How's school going? The review is just part of it. Getting to know you and you getting to know me is more of the fun. And that's what the social media aspect is. That's why I love you guys. You're just not a number to me. You're not just a sub to me. And I hope I'm just not a reviewer to you. But I hope that you're, you've welcomed me in your homes. I hope that you're listening to me, you know, maybe as you're getting ready in the morning or as you go to bed, your bed routine, or maybe you're eating lunch right now and you're listening to me. Whatever the case may be, I want to be more of your, there we go. I want to be more of your comfort food than your fast food. Mm. Some reviewers go fast and they review fast. They review their food fast, fast food, where some take their time like a comfortable old shoe. 
and their comfort food. So think of me as your comfort food, not your fast food. So let's give this a flavor rating and we will go, boy, this one's going to be hard. I almost need to do almost two, like presentation and flavor. Okay. I, I All right. This is what I'm going to do. It has to be flavor. I'm just going to do it flavor because that's what it's, it's a flavor rating. So, all right. On flavor, I'm going to go three, two, one, seven. It is good. I would recommend it. Go give it a try. I don't know if it's too expensive or not. That's up to you, but it is good. I would go and try it. I think it would be a great, I, you know, I wouldn't just probably get it on its own. I would get your meal and then get that. Um, it would be great if you, if they had like a combo thing going on where you could get a combo meal and with a dessert on that, that would be an awesome deal. Uh, but I wouldn't just get the, the, it would be a great compliment to a meal. I, let's just say that. But okay. So that's flavor rating. Um, if I had to incorporate the soft, if I had to incorporate the presentation, um, and everything else, I probably would almost give it a four. I mean, the, the, the taste is really giving, the taste again is a seven, but the presentation, the smushiness, just the way this whole marketing thing is, you no, know, no. So it, Arby's needs to do stick with the flavor, great flavor, but you know, forget, maybe forget warming it. Maybe just give, give, give the customer the option to warm it because this was, you know, you open it up and you could, you know, when you've, um, put like, um, a bag of veggies. There we go. You know, you can put a bag of veggies. They have those veggie bags that you can put in a microwave and you can you can put it in there for like five, 10 minutes. You take it out, you open it up and it's just, you know, it, it's like steamed veggies. You know, you put it in there, it's like steamed veggies. You know, you really feel that humidity coming out of the bag and the moisture in there because of the veggies and all that. That's exactly what this was. But I, my veggies, I don't care if they're a little soft. I want my soft veggies. But smushy cookie, mm mm no, 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 no. Maybe for a baby or, you know, whatever, but not for me. So, um, sorry, Arby's. I do love, I do love Arby shakes. I do love Arby shakes. I think they have some great desserts. I love their shakes. I think they had apple turnovers, which were really good too. Uh, so they do have good desserts. This one just did not crumble the cookie. Or something like that. So anyway, uh, thanks for being with us today. We really do appreciate it. Love you guys. And I really mean that. You, 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 and you in the back. And then you even in more in the back that doesn't even, that I can't even see. You too. Love you guys. Uh, please like, comment, uh, subscribe. We really would appreciate that. Like us on the Facebooks. Um, and then send it off. Like us and then share it. Share it to the masses. Share the Facebook post. Put us on, you know, share the YouTube uh, video, wherever your social media is, and get it out to the masses. We really would appreciate that. We do know there's a thousand other channels just like us that do food reviews, food challenges, good, clean, fun. Uh, but the reason why we do it is so that you can make the best decision on the inflation uh, budget dollars that you have today. You have a you have a small amount of money and you want to use it wisely and be a good manager of it. And I understand. And so I hope we can help you uh, it, weather that journey uh, together. And we really would appreciate that. So thanks for being with us today. We really do appreciate it. And as my son and I would always end, I got to find something to flip. I got my glove here because it's cold here in Wisconsin. As we always end, we'll see you on the flippity flop. Take care, guys. God bless. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.